Hey YouTube, I'm gonna do another snowblower video. Um, people seem to like them. And so I just got home from work. I've got six inches of, of heavy, sticky, wet snow. And this is the worst kind of snow for the blower. My temperature is currently 32 degrees and the the this is like i say the worst the blower will clog up if it was warmer i'd be okay if it was colder i'd be okay this is going to be you know snowman making snow is really hard to blow so what's what am i going to do i've got the spray bottle full of canola oil bought a gallon of it from walmart last year for like 10 bucks when i was in anchorage and i found it's really worked well in the past i've used um, silicone I've used I've used WD-40 you name it I've tried it I like canola oil it's biodegradable and I'll just hose this thing down um, in one of my videos I did last year a guy suggest or somebody suggested they use car wax I tried that I tried ski wax and that seems to work pretty good I also painted my auger, but this one's got a bit of wear on it now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up. I'm just going to rotate, and then I'm just going to keep spraying it down so I get good coverage on everything, and then try it out. The other thing I do, I keep my blower in the garage so it's all melted off, ready to go. One of my buddies told me um, she'll let it sit outside for a while, let it cool down because the auger's warm, and then it hits the cold snow, it'll form ice, and that's what you get the balling up. So. This thing's been sitting out here for probably 20, 25 minutes in 32 degrees. So we'll see if this makes a difference. So another thing I do is I let the blower warm up and I'm gonna spray more canola oil while everything's lubricated. Just so it has a better chance of coating everything. The impeller doesn't really matter. But my clots are with the auger. I'll just hose the stuff on. Okay, I'm gonna make a pass or two, hit the pass, and then uh, we'll see how it's looking. Okay, good news. It looks like it's staying pretty free. Maybe I'll look out with uh, this today. And uh, some of it I'm actually blowing twice, just from the distance. I'll show you guys how far to throw. Because basically you want to run your blower, I found as fast as you can to keep it loaded up, to keep it up on cam, like the governor kicks in. The engine RPMs come up and it throws the furthest. If you're not running it the higher RPM, you're not throwing as far it's just not as efficient and it's really frustrating so you gotta wait for uh i don't really i mean six inches this is a good amount of snow it all depends on what kind of snow it is the density um yeah i wish i had a good rule of thumb uh basically it's like better to blow sooner than later because if it builds up too high and it's wet it could take you so long to blow through it let's see how this thing does So I'm really pleased with how the blower's performing in this wet snow. Uh, six inches is a really good depth right now. It's enough that I could do a 
It's not so deep that I can't do a full blower width of my housing and have stuff dribble off on the sides. So I'm getting a full width, a full speed. The blower is loaded up, thrown it as far as it can. This is going really good. Got my driveway all cleared out. And uh, something I wanted to mention was I used a lot, I used my full down pressure to cut the tire tracks out. When you drive in, if you can avoid driving on the snow, that's your best bet. Um, if not, try to cut them out as quickly as you can. And I was using full down pressure to shave them off. If you don't do that, you're gonna end up with a bunch of lumpy ruts. And once they freeze, if the only thing you have is to clear your driveway with a blower, you're gonna fight them the rest of the winter and you're gonna hate life. Fortunately, um, I was able to get these out, so this worked out really good for me. Okay, guys, if uh, if you like this type of thing, let me know in the comments below, and I can do more snowblower videos because uh, I move a lot of snow. <laughs> you can see from the height of my snowbanks here. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.